Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a skip command for our music little mini-series here. Now, I think we're about episode 6 into the 12 episodes we have planned for this series, and I hope you guys are enjoying so far. However, there is one thing that I have to mention about the videos that have previously been released for the music tutorials, is there is an incorrect conditions check. Now, if we jump over here into the leave command, we don't want and operators here. We want all operators. And we also want to uh, check the player's existence before this line here. So obviously, if there isn't one, we want to return. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's, uh, there's pretty much no need for anything else. I mean, we could just mess around a little bit, put this here, uh, do that, that. And then obviously have them together so get the variable check the variable is has a value um such and such so as you can see here we're going to do this for the pause command as well um and these are these are very important because i've had a few complaints from people and sorry you want to check yeah you want to nullify this add a uh, um not nullify god damn it been a while since I've coded, guys. I do apologize for that. I've had all these videos um, just pretty much condensed up and uh, scheduled because I've, uh, you know, been busy over the last couple of weeks. So I had to do like pretty much one day of just coding, getting these tutorials ready and done. Um, so yeah, we want to do it for this as well. So I had a uh, few questions in uh, the videos. Obviously, they were scheduled, so I can answer them in the, the next videos. So, first of all, uh, the volume command, there is a limit in Arella that limits you to 0 to 100. There's no going over that. Reason being is the music sounds awful after that, so there's no point in going over it. Um, you can obviously go into Arella or Fork Arella and change that. That's completely up to you. Um, but yeah, it's just set to be between 0 and 100. Sorry, 1 and 100, not 0 and 100. Uh, next question is um, the uh, stopping so this is going to be something that we show in this. Um, so when the player stops, so the method is stop. When it stops, it stops the current track. It checks if there is a next track. And if there is a next track, it will proceed to that next track. So that is what you'll call a skip method. Now, people are getting confused because the documentation doesn't show a skip method that is pretty much named skip. Stop does what you want. And that's what we're going to show in this video today. So, first of all, how we're going to start this off is just pretty much like always, we're going to grab the player and proceed from there. So, we got bot. Dot, what's it? Bot. Dot music. Uh, dot players. Dot get. Uh, we could honestly, let's just copy this over and then we'll talk about it a little bit. So, as you can see, we are requiring the player here. We're going to input the message guild ID, and that is how we store the queue and, well, actually, how the, we store all the information for. Um, the the queue and the music and such uh, next we're going to check um, if it doesn't exist or there is no uh, player we're going to return a message stating no songs currently playing in this guild next in line we're going to take the uh, voice channel i believe it's an object i'm not sure well it's a voice channel uh, property insert the, uh, the the guild member object but i'm not sure if itself is an object um, next if there is no voice channel or uh, if there's uh, the voice channel ID doesn't equal the player dot uh, voice channel dot ID, then we're going to return um, and say skip command here. Now, what are we going to do after that? How are we going to get to the point where we want the player to skip to the next cha uh, next track? So basically, what we want to do here is we literally want to do player stop. So we've required, uh, sorry, we've um, defined player up here. And the value of that is bot.music.players.get and then obviously inputting the message guild.id and that will return the entire object of what that player consists of. And next what we're going to do here is player.skip, uh, sorry, player.stop will stop the current track, remove it from the queue if it is in the queue, and then it will check to see if there is an next track. And if there is an next track, obviously it will continue on with that. So we are done with that and then obviously we're going to want to return a message. Now this message could say absolutely anything you would like. I'm going to go with skipped the current song with an exclamation mark there and also adding your semicolons. 
Now this is the command done. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into Discord and we're going to obviously show this command in the works, how it works and show that it works really. Um, so we're going to head over to Discord. We're going to shove the Oxide hosting advertisement just in between the transition here and I'll see you guys on the other side of that. Thank you. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So as you can see, I've loaded everything up. The bot is online here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to double check what the prefix is, cause it's been a minute. So that is the prefix. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a song. Uh, now we're just gonna play Crossfire and then we have to play another. So we'll just play, actually, sorry. We'll just quickly put in the suggestion and then we'll play, uh, what else? Uh, we can just, uh, I'll just put non-copyright sound in and then pick the first song that comes up here. Now you can hear the music in the background, it is playing. I made sure to double check that the music can be heard. Um, so as you can see, right now there is music playing. If we, we don't have a Q, uh, Q command at the moment, which is unfortunate, but if we do the skip command, it will skip to the next song, as you can see. And now when you do skip again, it will, it will say skip the current song, but there won't be any songs in the queue because there is no songs currently playing in the guild. So that is the video completed. Thank you everyone so much for watching. This has been Connie here from Menu Docs, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hope you are enjoying the entire music series. I have, a, I have had an absolute blast recording this and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.